Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. Uh, the girls are actually having a lot of fun. We've got all members of Canada's national fencing team, and we've got their coach, uh, Paul Epsom. Great to have you guys on the show. Okay. And right now, underway is a big training camp as you're getting set for the World Championships. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, the girls uh, come to Ottawa uh, about uh, seven to ten days a month to come and train uh, with each other. They're mm -hmm. all from different cities. We have uh, Kelly Ryan from Ottawa. There's Kelly. Yes. Okay, she's we, waving. <laughs> Love that. We have uh, Monica Peterson from Vancouver. There's Monica. Okay. We have Alana Goldie from Calgary. And we have Shannon Comerford from Saskatoon. So they pretty much they're for coming in from around the country, and you've created what you're looking for in is essentially a team atmosphere to compete and then hopefully to qualify for the Olympics. Is that right? Exactly. The, um, these girls travel together. They spend their year together, and it's very important that they train together. There are two events in fencing. There's the individual event and the team event. And the team event is the uh, avenue that we're working towards uh, qualifying for the Olympics right now. Similar to a relay, how, how would it work in, in such an individual sport? for a team concept. Exactly, a relay. Uh, one person will fence a match and the, the next will come on and carry her score to the next match. Uh, so we will compete uh, against uh, another country uh, and there'll be nine matches of five hits each up to 45. Now for you, you have to know then each of their strengths and their weaknesses to be able to. Is there a strategy then knowing how you want to be able to build that team? Absolutely. We have uh, three, we have three fencers on the, on a match at once with four fencers. So uh, we have a lefty. We have uh, uh, some more offensive and some more defensive fencers. What are they doing? What are they doing right now? Right now, they're just uh, working their um, their point control. They're not um, actually moving uh, as much as they normally would, but they use their. Uh, their hands and their weapon just to get warmed up. Now there's uh, there's different types of fencing. Am That's I right? Am I correct? This is, what, this, what is this? This is foil, and uh, the other two are epi and saber. So now, they, would you have a fencer be able to compete in all different? It happens, types? Uh, but uh, not at the international level. They, they yeah. must specialize a little bit like uh, the difference between a 100 meter and 400 meter. Uh, they, it's that different. They can do it, but uh, they're not competitive. They won't be as, at that exactly. at that level in all in all disciplines. Uh, great to see. Now, of course, you guys are training out of the RA Center, so is, is it nice to see the talent level from those that are starting at the club level uh, grow with the Ottawa, with Ottawa fencing? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the, well, the advantage of having the Canadian team uh, at the RA Center uh, for a week every month uh, just uh, gives that exposure to our younger fencers. And, uh, a lot of our strong fencers are participating in this week's training camp, so they have the opportunity to train uh, with the team. Training camp right now consisting of uh, two practices a day, it's pretty intense. Uh, yeah, two or three practices a day for three uh, hours at a time, and um, it's mainly conditioning right now. So. Uh, we're just uh, starting to lay down a foundation for uh, the remainder of the preparation for the World Championship. Are they even out of breath at this point, or no, they're good? Uh, they're starting to get, a little, starting bit to get a little bit there. Pressure on right now with the Canadian team to be able to qualify. You're feeling pretty good. Right now, you're ranked second, and the top team goes. Is that it? That's correct. Uh, in the Americas, we are the second team. The United States is the first team. Um, we know that we will have one athlete at the Olympics, and if today was a cutoff day, the way the selection process would go, we would be participating at the Olympics. So um, the, the different selection avenues are, are a little bit complicated, but we feel confident that we'll be there. Well, it looks great, and I get to try this in a little bit. We're going to actually uh, get me going. I'll get a couple of my, my footwork going. Uh, we'll have an opportunity to check back in with the Canadian fencing team. We're going to take a short commercial break. Still plenty more to come. I believe we have a Today's Today coming your way next on CTV Morning Live.